well based on it we must have deep comprehensive knowledge about heat and temperature according to the kinetic theory of molecules including latent heat capacity specific heat capacity anomalous expansion of water principle of calorimetry and different types of thermometers such as clinical thermometer digital thermometer and laboratory thermometer actually heat is the causative factor of temperature however temperature is the effect of heat more clearly latent heat capacity specific heat capacity and anomalous expansion of water are very crucial factors of occurrence of different natural phenomena however different types of thermometers such as clinical thermometer digital thermometer and laboratory thermometer are used to measure temperature of human beings including different types of objects so it must be kept in mind that latent heat capacity specific heat capacity anomalous expansion of water kinetic theory of molecules and different types of thermometers are very crucial from conceptual point of view and scientific point of view as well first of all let's point out heat and temperature according to the kinetic theory of molecules actually according to the kinetic theory of molecules heat is defined as the sum of kinetic energy of molecules present in a body furthermore the si unit of heat is joule more clearly the name of scientific device which is used to measure amount of heat present in a body is simply known as calorimeter similarly let's point out temperature actually according to the principle of kinetic theory of molecules temperature of a body is defined as the average sum of kinetic energy of molecules present in a body moreover the si unit of temperature is kelvin most importantly the name of scientific device which is used to measure amount of temperature present in a body is simply known as thermometer more clearly different types of thermometers are used in our daily life which are given below number 1 clinical thermometer number 2 laboratory thermometer number 3 digital thermometer let's point out clinical thermometer at first actually the scientific device which is used to measure temperature of human beings is simply known as clinical thermometer more clearly clinical thermometer consists of several salient features so let's point out some major salient features of a clinical thermometer number 1 clinical thermometer is generally prismatic in shape number 2 clinical thermometer consists of mercury as a thermometric liquid number 3 in case of clinical thermometer the melting point of mercury is minus 39 degree centigrade however the boiling point of mercury is 357 degree centigrade that's why clinical thermometer can measure minimum temperature up to minus 39 degree centigrade and the maximum temperature up to 357 degree centigrade number 4 in case of clinical thermometer there is constriction near the bulb here probably we might have curiosity about why is mercury used in clinical thermometer so in order to get 
deep concept about this wonderful feature of a clinical thermometer. Let's go through scientific reasons. Number one, mercury is non-sticky. Number two, mercury is silvery white, shiny in color. Number three, mercury has uniform rate of expansion and contraction. Number four, mercury has high density in comparison to the density of other thermometric liquids such as alcohol and water. Based on heat, latent heat capacity is very crucial. So, let's move on to latent heat capacity in short. Actually, the amount of heat energy absorbed or released by a substance during a phase change without change in temperature is simply known as latent heat capacity. For example, when ice melts into water, maintaining the same temperature of both ice and water, then the amount of heat energy absorbed by an ice in this case is simply known as latent heat capacity. Moreover, the assay unit of latent heat capacity is joule per kg. Similarly, let's paint out specific heat capacity. Actually, the amount of heat energy required to rise or fall the temperature of 1 kg substance by 1 degree centigrade is simply known as specific heat capacity. Furthermore, the assay unit of specific heat capacity is joule per kg per degree centigrade. More clearly, in order to get deep concept about specific heat capacity, let's go through some explanations. Number one, the specific heat capacity of water is 4200 joule per kg per degree centigrade. What does it mean? Actually, the specific heat capacity of water is 4200 joule per kg per degree centigrade. It means 4200 joule of heat energy is required to rise the temperature of 1 kg water by 1 degree centigrade. Number 2. What is mean by specific heat capacity of a metal is 800 joule per kg per degree centigrade? Actually, specific heat capacity of a metal is 800 joule per kg per degree centigrade. It means 800 joule of heat energy is required to rise the temperature of 1 kg metal by 1 degree centigrade. Also, anomalous expansion of water is one of the most important master points to keep in mind deeply in case of heat. So, Let's move on to anomalous expansion of water in salt. Actually, when water is heated from 0 degree centigrade to 4 degree centigrade, its volume goes on decreasing instead of increasing. However, when the same water is heated from 4 degree centigrade onwards, its volume goes on increasing. This unusual behavior shown by water while heating from 0 degree centigrade to 4 degree centigrade is simply known as anomalous expansion of water. More clearly, anomalous expansion of water is responsible for occurrence of different natural phenomena such as land breeze, sea breeze, thunderstorm and so on. Most importantly, Anomalous expansion is crucial for occurrence of different natural events. So, let's point out some major natural events due to anomalous expansion of water. Number 1. Aquatic creatures can easily survive at the bottom of frozen lakes in winter season in mountain region. Number 2. Water supplying pipes get brushed during winter season in mountain region. Here, 
land bridge and sea bridge are very crucial from conceptual point of view and scientific point of view as well so let's point out land bridge at first actually the blowing of wind from land to sea usually at night time is simply known as land bridge similarly let's point out sea bridge in fact the blowing of wind from sea to land usually at day time is simply known as sea bridge based on sea bridge and land bridge it must be kept in mind that they are very crucial for ecological balance so land bridge and sea bridge are always crucial for natural events based on heat let's go through comparison of heat and temperature in order to understand about these points as deeply as possible number one according to kinetic theory of molecules the sum of kinetic energy of molecules present in our body is simply known as heat however the average sum of kinetic energy of molecules present in our body is simply known as temperature as per kinetic theory of molecules number 2 heat is the causative factor of temperature whereas temperature is the effect of heat number 3 heat depends upon the amount of matter present in our body however temperature does not depend upon the amount of matter present in our body number 4 the amount of heat present in our body is simply measured by calorimeter whereas the amount of temperature present in our body is simply measured by thermometer similarly Let's compare clinical thermometer and laboratory thermometer. Number one, the scientific device which is used to measure temperature of human beings only is simply known as clinical thermometer. However, the scientific device which is used to measure temperature of a room is known as laboratory thermometer. Number two. clinical thermometer is shorter in comparison to the laboratory thermometer whereas laboratory thermometer is longer in comparison to the clinical thermometer number 3 clinical thermometer is prismatic in shape however laboratory thermometer is cylindrical in shape number 4 in case of clinical thermometer mercury is used as a thermometric liquid whereas in case of laboratory thermometer alcohol is used as thermometric liquid also let's compare land bridge and sea bridge number 1 the blowing of wind from land to sea is simply known as land bridge whereas the blowing of wind from sea to land is simply known as sea breeze number 2 land breeze usually occurs at night time whereas sea breeze usually occurs at day time based on heat principle of calorimetry and principle of liquid thermometer are very crucial from conceptual point of view and scientific point of view as well So let's move on to principle of calorimetry at first Actually principle of calorimetry states that when two objects at different temperature are brought into contact heat will transfer from hotter object to colder one until there is thermal equilibrium In other words principle of calorimetry states that the heat lost by hotter object is equal to the heat gained by the colder object assuming there is no heat loss to the surroundings similarly let's point out 
प्रिंसिपल ऑफ लिक्विड थर्मोमीटर एक्चुअली प्रिंसिपल ऑफ लिक्विड थर्मोमीटर स्टेज दैट लिक्विड एक्सपेंशन हीटिंग एंड कंट्रैक्शन कोलिंग अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस बेस्ड ऑन प्रिंसिपल ऑफ लिक्विड थर्मोमीटर the different types of scientific devices which are made are given below number 1 clinical thermometer number 2 laboratory thermometer number 3 digital thermometer here in case of heat principle of calorimetry principle of liquid thermometer are very crucial so it must be kept in mind that they are very crucial from conceptual point of view in depth 